everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house having coffee with all of you because it is kind of chilly outside. And plus, I am barricaded in. I am surrounded in gifts. So I'm going to get started today by showing you some of the things that people have sent me recently, and then I'll get to the footage with my parents because it's been a wonderful, wonderful two days. I wish they could have stayed longer. Hopefully next time they'll be able to stay longer. So let me get these things kind of, I'm going to go ahead and open them up so you don't have to sit through all that and then show you what I got. It is so awesome. Okay, whoops, let me get out of light. First thing, this is from Kat. She also sent me the chicken feed. This is chicken bedding, and it's a big, big, heavy thing of it. So thank you, Kat. And everything else here so far today is going to be from Kat, with the exception of one thing. I'm not sure who it's from. So let me just get this out of the way. Okay. So there's that. Then there's this, which is so awesome. Whoops. <laughs> Huggies! Baby wipes! There are 624 wipes in here, and I don't know if any of you, well, if you don't live off grid, then you probably don't appreciate these as much as I do, but uh, if there's a water shortage or if I just can't get a shower or whatever, these are what I wash up with, and they are wonderful. These are hyper, hyper, hypoallergenic, um, fragrance-free, uh, plant-based ingredients. So, a 99% purified water. Um, so, these are great. They're not going to irritate my skin because my skin is delicate like flower. So, thank you very much, Kat. Okay. This was very thoughtful. Now, this was not on my wish list. She thought to get this herself, and this is wonderful. These are water and can singles. I think I can put one in like a gallon of water. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to read up. So I'm going to start fertilizing my plants today. I haven't even had a whole cup of coffee yet, so I'm tired. So that is awesome. She also sent me... <laughs> this was on my wish list, definitely. Because, seriously, guys, you don't want to see my toenails. But they're going to be looking lovely now. It is a toenail clipper and a fingernail... Oops fingernail clipper and see that that's awesome uh so this is wonderful i really needed these super bad and um, they're very good quality heavy duty sturdy so thank you cat very very much okay and then she sent this actually for betty but it's gonna be kind of for the both of us because we both love chicken oh Big old huge thing of chicken, canned chicken. I cannot get enough chicken, and Betty can't get enough chicken. She will just eat this straight out of the can, and it's delicious stuff. So thanks again, Kat. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay, what's next? Oh, yes, yes. This, I used to have one of these because I like to make wine. It is, it's a hydrometer. And um, I'm going to be anxious to use this. When I rack the wine the next time it's sitting over there, it's looking like it's getting pretty clear, too. Uh, whoops. There you go. That's a hydrometer. And it gives you different readings on the side. I'm not going to show you them all right now. But um, this is great that I have a hydrometer again because I'm going to be able to tell how much booze I got my booze. <laughs> all right. And... Last but not least from Kat, and I love this brand, Maxwell House Coffee, so I can have coffee, more coffee sitting out on my porch or in the tiny house with all of you. So this is going to be delicious, and I have like maybe one more serving of coffee left in my, my little thing over there, so this is wonderful. And I love these little canisters too. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with these canisters. In fact, I've even grown plants in these canisters. Okay, so that was all from Kat. Thank you so much, Kat. It just means a lot to me. Everything is needed. Um, and you even gave me a, something, a little bit of what's wanted, <laughs> the hydrometer. So that's lovely. Thank you. Alrighty. Last but not least, and I, there was no note with this. And I, I feel like somebody told me that they were going to be sending this to me, but I can't. It was on my wish list. And it is one of these inflatable Lucy lights. And the one, the thing that's unique about this one is when you put it out in the sun, you can also charge your cell phone. So it's a sunny day. I'm going to go out there and see if I can get my cell phone charged up. 
and get the light charged up. These put off a lot of light. Um, I have one other that I have had with me in the van, but the little part underneath um, got a hole in it or something, so I just took it off. So this is going to be awesome for inside the tiny house, and plus it's solar powered, so it won't drain my other batteries. So this is great. Thank you, whoever sent this. If you texted me, text me again via email so I can make sure that I know who you are. I can give you a recognition for this because I love, love, love these Lucy lights. And this one is even so much cooler because you can charge your phone. Okay, this is probably going to be a long video because it's going to be like over two days. And, well, you saw in my last video, very brief one, I introduced a new member of the Ann fam. <laughs> And yes, that's my truck. They uh, yet to deliver it today. Um, they wanted to detail. Well, my my mother, she's so sweet. Um, she wanted them to detail the inside and out. There were a couple tiny, tiny scratches in the paint. So she wanted them to either touch it up or go get some paint and send it with the truck. So I don't know if they're going to actually do it or if they're just going to, you know, send me the paint and let me do it. <laughs> either is fine. Um, and change the oil. So uh, we we finished the the deal late yesterday. So they weren't they didn't have the time to do it all. So they're gonna do that this morning. Deliver it around eleven. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, so that's my new truck. It is a two thousand five GMC Canyon SLE, and it's got the off road package. It is not a four wheel drive. It is a two wheel drive, but it has the like the higher suspension. It has a trailer hitch on it with the, the lights already, you know, the, the tow package. It's already there. Inside is pristine. Outside is pristine. Runs well. Brakes well. No vibrations. No funny sounds. No rattling. Um, air conditioner works great. Uh, and it's just, it's going to be a great, oh, and this is also interesting. It's a five-cylinder. It's a five-cylinder, so it's going, to, it's not going to have a lot of power like you would with a six-cylinder or an eight cylinder or V8 or something. It's not going to have that kind of power, but it will, oh, and, uh, try this morning, I have it in line to get the, okay, good, he's, he's, get it, he's getting the oil change now, so yes, I'm going to get my truck today. Um, anyhow, uh, what was I saying? God, I'm just so excited about everything, just everything, and I, I'm going to have, I may have to break this video into two pieces. Because I need to show you all the stuff and the changes that I've made in the tiny house. Maybe I'll do that on another day. And then, well, we'll just see how this day goes. I don't know. I'm just so excited right now. I can't even think straight, you guys. So, uh, yeah, it's a five-cylinder, and um, it's going to get great gas mileage. Um, and it, it, it's got enough tow power, but I'm not going to be towing anything really big. So, anyhow, um, well, let me, let me just get the rest of this day going. The first thing my mom wanted to do is get acquainted with Betty. So she brought some treats and she was very brave. So let's see how this went. There you go. That's it. Good girl. <laughs> you did it, Mom. Yay. <laughs> Show how cute my mom looks. No, oh, Dad, you're supposed to turn it this way. Sit. Good girl. Good yeah. Betty. Oh. Good Betty. Good girl. Good girl. She wants to eat your necklace. This necklace was Mom, made for me. very good. Was made for me by a little girl. Look at it. She's completely submissive to you. Good stay. girl. Stay. Stay. She wants to give you a kiss, Mom. I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> was that yummy good? Yes, it was. She's doing was so good. good. Oh, she wants to wrap her arm around you. That means she loves you. Oh. Both mom and dad did really great with Betty, so that was a huge relief. Anyways, the first stop we had to make that day was to the Goodwill. This was so exciting for me. I was so happy. Unfortunately for this next part, I had to remove the sound because there's music playing in the background, and that could mean disaster for a YouTuber. Anyhow, we found this little piece here, and I was asked my mom, what do you think we could use that for? And she says, a hanging spice rack to dry out my herbs. And I found this little group of grates for $2.99, and I figured I bet at least one of them can fit inside 
the new wood burning stove to you know put the wood on top of and I can do other things with the rest of them as well and here's mom showing me some of the stuff she found that might work and this is a little shelf unit that she wanted me to have to put underneath a mirror she gave me but we looked at the back and there was no mounting hardware and we figured you know what that's not such a good deal because we'd have to pay to get the hardware and she picked it out for my dad because he likes to cook a whole bunch and then I was trying to grab my little hanging spice dry out thingy and my mom's like no no I'm paying for it I'm paying for it and here we are shopping for clothes and mom has such a good eye for cute things and this looks perfect on her it's perfect for her her torso size um, for me I tried it on and it was a little bit short because mine is longer and oh here I found this little jumper thingy and I love to wear dresses love them there this is a little bit shorter than the kind of dress I usually wear but it was the right size it's not too tight um, not too fitted and whatnot so it's gonna be perfect and here I'm telling her about the shirt I'm wearing that a lovely lady named Connie sent it for me and that I could wear that underneath the little jumper and my mom says oh yes that Connie she sent you a lot of wonderful things and so here's another dress that I found, um, maybe just a teeny bit big for me, but I like to wear things loose, and I like nice long dresses. I'll even take this, I'll wear this out when I'm working on the garden. Very, very comfortable, and it's a little bit longer, and, you know, still a little bit shorter than I normally wear, but that's okay. It'll be fine. I can wear my boots with it and uh, go, go traipse around in the garden. And here's another one that I found. And yeah, definitely too big, but you can tie it back. And I like the loose fitting clothing. I thought that this was really pretty and my mom liked it too. But I ended up not getting it because, well, uh, I got something else with denim in it. And I figured, you know what, it's too much like the other one, so I didn't get it. And then this one I figured just for sitting around the porch or even to sleep in, my mom didn't like it. And I ended up not getting that one either because there was some fraying at the hem that I would have had to sew. So this is the last one. Yep, she approves of that one. So I'll definitely be getting that one. And I wanted to turn the camera around and show you another one of her finds. Look at that. Look at that vest. It's got like a leather thing on it. And it, once again, when she puts it on, you'll see it fits her perfectly. Absolutely gorgeous. My mom is such a savvy shopper. And a sassy granny, too. Look at that. Looks great, Mom. My face is in here. Ow, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's stop this. What do you think? I can see you. Look good. You look really good. I love that, that jumper. Look at this. We got way too much stuff in this car. Oh my gosh, this is our shopping trip. Say hi, Mom. Hi. I got some, some more stuff up here, too, on the floor. How's it going, Dad? What you been doing? I've been taking a little nap out here. <laughs> I knew that's what you were thinking. All right, about. it's lunchtime, and we're going to the Bonwood Cafe. I have no idea what this is going to be like. I think it's going to be right up my alley because it looks like old school. Well, we can't park here. This isn't. Mm, now this is a country meal. Now what'd you get, Dad? BLT. BLT. What'd you get, Mom? Hot dog. Hot dog. Chili. And then we headed home. On the way home, we picked up some Bud Light for Mr. Lucas, a case of beer. My parents bought him a case of beer, and my mom picked him out a bunch of snacks to go along with it. And she also brought along the quilt she made for Mrs. Lucas. And that quilt is just so gorgeous. My mom is such a great seamstress. So they're going to take that to her. Maybe she's in rehab right now because she fell, and she she broke her leg really bad. So I want y'all's to keep her, keep her in your prayers that she heals quickly because Mr. Lucas is missing her something awful. So we sat over there and chat for a little while and um, then by ta that time it was dinner time and then my parents headed home, um, I headed to the hotel room and then the next day they came back out and well there's the thing about the truck so I think in tomorrow's video um, I'll show you once it gets delivered. And I'm just so excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Anyhow, you guys, this video has gotten long enough. I've got way, way more to show you about my parents' visits and some of the things that they brought along with them. 
um, that's in the tiny house and it's just made this place look so much more like a home. So we're going to cut this video here and you know what? That's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and y'all have a good one.